Here we are again for Captain's Corner with Brock Matheson. Thanks for showing up again, Brock. So uh, let's cut to the chase. Uh, you guys have, uh, haven't been able to hold on to leads lately. Uh, you left two, three goal leads so far this year and the two goal lead at RPI. So what's been the problem with that? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you got to give credit where credit's due. I think the other teams have, have stepped up. You know, RPI stepped up against us. UConn stepped up and, and answered the call. And, you know, they, they put the heat on on us. Um, I think one of the major things is when we get up a couple goals right now, we have a tendency to kind of relax a little bit, and uh, and you know that's given us problems. So I, I think we've we've had some meetings as a team and we've talked about it, and uh, hopefully we're going to learn from it going forward. What's it going to take to correct this mistake? I mean, it's it's, it's just not letting the team come back. But what, what's it going to take? It's more than just doing that. Yeah, I mean, we, we can talk about it, but I think it basically all it boils down to is just us playing 60 minutes of hockey, you know, not not taking any shifts off, not let alone periods off or, or stretches in the game. You know, we need to be out playing our A game for 60 minutes, and, uh, and you know, at the very least, we need to be out working our opponents. So, I mean, that's that's a big thing we've tried to focus on this week in practice, and, and then when we met you know, on Monday as a team, and, and we tried to talk about that. So I think that the message is really starting to sink in, and uh, I think we're going to be a, a new, improved team come Friday. So uh, Troy Grosnick had his first start against UConn on Thursday. How do you think he did? Yeah, I thought Troy did really well. I mean, it, it's always tough your first game, you know, college hockey coming in, and uh, he was, he basically, uh, he, I think he did a very good job for given the circumstances, came in, made, made some great saves for us. I, th I thought we... You know, the goals that were scored, I thought we hung them out to dry a little bit. And, uh, you know, they, they can be characterized as mistakes that, you know, that we made as a team. It, there's no fault on him uh, whatsoever. Uh, I think that he's going to have a really bright future here, and I think that that won't be the last time you see him in the, in the, in the next future here. I think he'll get another couple games uh, quite soon. So um, how, how is it playing at, at uh, Lake Placid with the big rink and his, the history and different atmosphere just like, talk us about that yeah I mean it's there's so much history there I mean we walked into the uh to the building and they, and they had a big tv there and I think the uh they had the game playing on uh on I'm pretty sure they had a repeat probably 24 7 up at that rink there so uh but yeah like you said it, you know there's so much history there um it, it was actually a very good crowd uh we, we had a lot of fans there I think RPI had a lot of fans there but overall just a great experience and uh there's no better team that we wanted to play than, than RPI. It was great to get to play our rivals there. Would you say you hate RPI? <laughs> I, you know, I, I think that there ha there has actually been, you know, a, a little bit of a, a hatred between between the two teams. You know, I, I think that being said, I think it's a healthy respect between the two teams. But at the end of the day, you know, we're going to do anything we can to beat them, and I think they're going to do the same thing like that. So I don't know if hate's the word, but you know. It, we really want to make sure we're doing everything we can to beat them every time we play them, and I think they're they're making sure they're doing the same thing too. I mean, uh, luckily in that game, Matt Bodie came along and scored the game game tying goal, sent it to overtime. I mean, he's been having a, a little rough time the past week or two. So how how is how important is that for him him, him being your your D partner? Yeah, I think uh, obviously that was great for Matt to get his first goal, and uh, I think overall he's he's been doing a great job. You know, like I said before, it's tough as a freshman coming in. There, there's a learning curve. And I, I think all of the freshmen are doing a fantastic job. And, and you know, Matt's, Matt's been great. And the same with Mike Ingles being on Davies. He's been great, too. I think, you know, those guys just got to keep working hard and, and developing like they are. And, and they're doing a great job. Well, this week is uh, basically a new chapter of the season. You open up UCAC play at Dartmouth and Harvard. So uh, what does this mean to you guys? That's obviously important. Yeah, it means everything. You know, obviously out of conference play uh, factors in a little bit with the pairwise and the national tournament. But, you know, I've always thought that if you want to make the national tournament, the best way to do it is just win your league championship, you know. Uh, so we understand that that starts Friday night, you know, and, and that's uh, that's kind of where our head's at right now. And, and now it's it's for points. It's the real deal. So we're, uh, we're really mentally preparing ourselves going into Friday. Wait, what's the game plan going against teams like Dartmouth and Harvard? I mean, Dartmouth has been like the uh, – Picked to be the sleeper team in the conference this year, and Harvard's always tough. So, what's your game plan going to this weekend? Yeah, I mean, uh, Dartmouth is always is always a tough team to play. You know, they they got great forwards and, and, and a really mobile decor too. So, you know, I, I think against a team like that, you definitely don't want to give them opportunities in the power play. Same with Harvard too. You know, I think those are two teams that, that can really uh, really have the potential to have a great year. Uh, that being said, I think 
all 12 teams in the ECAC have the potential to have a great year. So, you know, I think what it comes down to, like I said before, is just us playing 60 minutes and, and playing our game and go there. I was getting a little away from uh, Union Hockey. Have you seen the uh, the Den- Denver's uh, Jesse Martin? Did yeah, you see that hit? Yeah, I actually saw it on your on your uh, on your blog uh, a couple of nights ago. Uh, you know any updates on that? Or? I mean, he's supposed to be in uh, good condition, and yeah. uh, he's talking to the guy that hit him. He said it's no big deal. Yeah. But uh, what do you think about the hit? You think it was clean? You think it was a little dirty? I mean, uh, it, it's tough to say. You know, it wasn't a hit from behind or anything like that. I think. The guy was just coming in trying to finish his hit, and the other guy was in an awkward situation. Obviously, you never like to see something like that. I'm sure the guy who hit him feels feels terrible about it. And, uh, you know, if, if they're talking, I'm sure the guy that was hit um, understands, you know, it's part of the game. But obviously, the more we can kind of eliminate that from the game, I think the better. It's You, you never like to see a guy injured like that. I'm right, getting a little back to you guys again. Last year, you guys went, went into Dartmouth and went down. I think it was with four goals. Yeah. And you came back and scored five to win it. Yeah. So you think they're going to be out for revenge this time? Yeah, I think so. I, I think uh, you know every time we play them, they, they've given us a really tough game. Um, they're a tough opponent. They they work hard. You know, they're disciplined. They they play their systems well. So we're anticipating a very tough game. Uh, hopefully, we don't find ourselves in the same predicament as we were last year, down four goals. Um, but no, I, I really think they're gonna they're gonna stick it to us, and, and they always seem to play us hard. So we're anticipating a very tough game against Dartmouth. Do you guys think you're prepared having a week of practice? Yeah, yeah, I think we've had a great two days so far, and we're hoping to have a great day today and a great day tomorrow. And I think you know, like I said before, the team's really getting into the mentality that this is ECAC play now, and this is this is for points. So I think we're heading in the right direction. Well, well, I hope you bring home two W's on Sunday, and uh, good luck, Rock. Thanks a lot.